So we do the seven chakras, the seven main chakras, and it each one, each oil relates to the chakra. Each oil relates to a particular emotion. It relates to how we feel, how we act, beliefs, and so forth. But you only need to do that if you want to do it simply. You can do just do one. If you've got, a, I use the example of if you have issues around communication, if you're got to come to a situation where there is a difficult conversation to have with someone. If you're challenged about a presentation in your place of work, if you're having issues communicating with your partner, your spouse, your children or anything, then a simple way, a simple, this simple meditation that Rebecca will run through about taking lavender, which I have here in my hand, taking a drop and holding it over the throat chakra. And you don't need to use... Rebecca's meditation or anything, you can just focus yourself, think of the issue. And if by doing that, I, I promise you the, the results are profound. They're amazing. So here you have a tool at your hand, these lifeblood of a plant, little boils in a bottle, a couple of drops in a hand, find a quiet place, hold it over the chakra, address the issue. What could be simpler? What could be easier? In this modern time, when we're rushed, when we're challenged, that's why I believe it is so profound and so beautiful and so easy to do, and the results are amazing. I'll close on one thing. My partner actually got involved with this, and there was uh, some suggestion that, and she actually did it. She actually decided it, and it's called a 28-day challenge. So it is doing the seven chakras with the intention that you want to make a change every day. Right. And so she did. And there were some really interesting, profound shifts in what happened. You can go to that extreme or you can just do it as you want during the day, anytime you like. It's, it's a beautiful procedure. So that's why I encourage you all to, to really participate in this, um, really enjoy it, but to come to it with, and, and I encourage you now to start thinking about something to get the most out of it. Do you want to change something? Do you have an intention? Is there an issue that's troubling you? And what you will find is that that issue will present itself depending on what chakra, what oil comes along. You may get a nice, and we all differently, remember, you may get a nice blissful thing from the whole lot. You may get some profound thing from one. Who knows? That's the, that's the beauty of it all. So I hope I've answered that, Neil. I hope I haven't gone on too long, but I really wanted to. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a beautiful procedure. It's simple uh, and it, it demonstrates the vibrational frequency and the aromas that the essential oils can do. So. That's that's it. Okay. Thank you for asking. It's been really wonderful being able to share yeah. that with everybody. It was a great explanation. And especially, you know, the, the double advantage here is that all of us will have Rebecca's full meditation always with us because this is going to be with us on replay. One. Two, like you said, Mark, that even if you don't want to do the full seven chakras and suppose you want to focus on one drop in there because the... Uh, the speed at which the essential oil travels or moves into your bloodstream or into your skin is part of that process, right? Correct. So that's where the the simplicity of, of just putting a drop, putting it and focusing on the issue without thinking of anything else also comes into, into big play. So that is that is good to hear. And Rebecca, of course, you're, you are going to be taking us through this. So tell us, What's going to be happening right now? Is there anything that you need to explain to us? Is there are there any instructions you need to give to us before we start? So thank you so much. Thank you, Mark. That was beautiful. I hadn't heard that before. So thank you so much. Um, well, before we begin, I want to say that your body knows the truth about you and your divine purpose on this planet, Earth Day, you know, and asking your body to help you with the use of the oils will help you create your own true to you declaration that is powerful because it will remind you of who you really are and it will help you live in purposeful alignment. And as Mark shared, this can be so profound in this moment, 
but given our world chaos and our whatever is going on around us, this can be addressed to the consistency and the constancy that each of us make time for. Nice. Nice. And uh, Rebecca, you, you will want everybody to focus on the oil as you move chakra to chakra, right? So yes, give me a quick moment and I'll just share my screen. And Rebecca, do you want, as Mark just mentioned, you can think of something specific or you can ask if you want to make a change. So should we ask everybody if there's anything specific they have in mind? They can keep it in their mind. They, they don't have to necessarily tell us about it. But Something I think it's best, I think it's best to keep it in keep it in the mind that each person right. forms their own intention. And then after that, if Good anybody right. wants to share, yes. I think that's a wonderful thing to be able to participate back into the group. Yes, that is that that's is what part. I was. Yes, that's what I was right. heading okay. to. Us. You know what you're doing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that was my intention. That uh, should we do this? Should we ask everybody? Uh, for example, my intention is for everybody to have an intention, but I've said it out loud. But I'll change my intention. <laughs> so. Should we do that, Rebecca, Mark? Just let us... I, I think they all form the intention. Don't tell anything. Right. Go through the process. And then we ask those who want to share because some intentions could be personal, mightn't want to. So that's, I think, that's the way I've operated in the past. I don't care how it's done. But, uh, and Rebecca can change it. But that's much my suggestion. No, that's fine. And very quickly, Rebecca, any precautions? Like, don't be moving, don't be driving, don't be operating, having machinery... <laughs> I'll be driving. No, don't Absolutely. be driving. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't be driving. <laughs> We're going to ask you to close your eyes. Don't be driving. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and uh, this is safe. Uh, yesterday, I remember, Mark, you had mentioned that, um, you know, when you're pregnant, avoid using essential oils. But this is an energetic transmission. So is it safe, Rebecca, Mark, for pregnant women? Yeah, that, that's, it's safe because what, what's going to happen is you're going to just put your oil in your hand and you're just going to hold it over the chakra, it's not going to touch you. It doesn't, it doesn't have to touch the body or anything like that. It's a transmission, as you say. So even if you're pregnant, that's fine. No problem. Great. I'm just getting my screen on. Just a moment. You want to take us to an overview, Rebecca? It's right there. Otherwise, I can move the slides when on your queue. I think, Mark, um, do you want to go give the overview first? And then I'll go into the meditation. Oh, can't hear you. Are you muted? Mark, yeah. Very sorry. Can you, right now? Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that um, we we basically set the scene and, and said what the intent, what the purpose is, how you can use it, uh, and asking everybody to form an intention. Uh, those particular oils are, are the ones that the original oils that were that I, I believe were you know delivered are uh, balanced bergamot, citrus bliss. The heart chakra was geranium, but peppermint is more suited to the market we're in lavender frankincense and sandalwood. However, Immortel has sandalwood in it, okay? The good news is that there are oils that actually you can use in place of those. So, and we can provide that. We can provide a list of those. So if you don't happen to have balance, there's something else that'll work, all right? right. So uh, the, the whole idea, the, where those oils are, we, we believe the oil, the use of the oil, like balance, is known as the oil of grounding. It's a tree oil, trees rooted in the ground. So obviously it relates to the root chakra. And Rebecca will take you through those and she will name the oil and what it does, what its, what its emotional moniker is and how that relates to each chakra. So that's the, that's the oil, that's the order. And we do start from the root and we move up to the crown and we work through those ones there. And um, you know, generally, all, all what the, the way it's set up is simply that you get comfortable, you form that intention, you you you, can, you, you take your hands, um, and I think energetically, even though if it's an in-person one, we place the oil in your hand. Obviously, we can't do that. So Rebecca is going to transmit that to you. So I think that actually having your hands there 
visualizing the transmission and then holding it over the chakra while with your eyes closed while Rebecca does her, her, her the meditation. Uh, that will produce, I believe, a great result for everybody concerned. Okay. So that's it for me, I think, Rebecca. If you're happy with that and you've got anything to add, go for it. No, I think that's you've you've said it all, so it's all good. Okay. Right, let's begin. So rubbing your hands and palms together, I'm going to place a drop of balance in my palm, in my left palm. And with your eyes closed, place your hands on your root chakra, your base chakra. The color of this chakra is red. And this is the oil of grounding. Applying this beautiful blend of tree oils over the base chakra helps us to live in the moment. Think of a tree in nature, strong, resilient, grounded, and in no hurry. It's flexible, bending with and into nature. Balance helps strengthen the connection between the physical and emotional self with the earth. It provides a strong connection to the whole of the body's energetic system. It helps the nervous system be calm and relaxed and connects the heart our hearts to the physical and spiritual body. Balance the oil of grounding teaches true perseverance through staying present and provides inner strength and fortitude. Please affirm with me, I am deeply rooted, centered, safe and supported. Now moving on. We go to the sacral chakra. The oil of bergamot. The color is orange. The oil of self-acceptance. So here's my bergamot oil. I place a drop in my left palm. Rub my palms together. I like to inhale the oils, by the way. So please inhale. Deeply. This is the oil of self-acceptance. So visualize this oil going in through your inhale and placing your hands on your sacral chakra. The oil of acceptance. The sacral chakra provides our ability to accept others and new experiences but most importantly, accept ourselves. Bergamot helps to relieve feelings of despair, self-judgment, criticism of self, low self-esteem, not feeling good enough, not feeling capable, 
It provides support to our need of self-acceptance and self-love. We see life with more optimism. Stagnant feelings and limiting belief systems can fall away. This powerful cleansing effect of bergamot helps to generate movement in our energy system. And we are filled with hope. Let go of all self-judgment. Love yourself unconditionally. And repeat after me with this affirmation. I am embracing my connection to my creative power. So now we come to the solar plexus or the navel chakra. So it's the solar plexus is just above your navel. And the oil for this is citrus bliss. The oil of creativity. The color is yellow. So placing a drop of citrus bliss in my left palm. I rub my palms together. And I place it on my, breathe it in. Sorry, I forgot that bit. Inhale. Deeply and exhale. The solar plexus navel chakra represents our energy and vitality. Here lies our ability to be confident and in control of our lives. Citrus bliss over the solar plexus navel chakra acts as a powerful fire starter. It returns motivation and drive when it is lacking. When the soul has lost its connection to life, citrus bliss helps to restore the spark. Our creativity is inspired. We can reconnect back to our inner child and its natural creative sense. We can let go of limitations and insecurities. Holding this invigorating blend over the chakra will assist to restore confidence in yourself, in myself, and fill our hearts with creativity and joy. Please affirm with me. I am embracing my uniqueness and feeling of confidence in myself and my abilities. And we move on to the heart chakra with the oil of peppermint. And here I place a drop in my left palm. And I rub my palms together. Inhaling deeply. This oil of the buoyant heart. Placing my heart, my hands on my heart. The heart chakra shows us our ability to love, to see hope, to find courage. Peppermint essential oil held over the heart chakra 
helps restore confidence in the goodness of the world. It encourages emotional honesty, love, and forgiveness. Peppermint softens anger and helps to rediscover the joy of being alive. Please affirm with me, I deeply love and care about myself and others. All ill feelings are dissolving away and I'm drawing in sunshine and good cheer. That's so amazing. Now let's move on to the throat chakra. And here in my left palm, I place a drop of lavender, oil of communication. The color is turquoise blue. Placing it on your throat, placing your hands on your throat. The throat chakra represents our ability to communicate and just as importantly, where we can be healed. Lavender aids with verbal communication. It calms insecurities, especially when we risk our true thoughts and feelings. Apply lavender over the chakra and we can release tension, all tension and constrictions that stem from fear of expressing our true self. Through open and honest communication, we heal physically and emotionally. We can clearly express our inner self and come to know our true self. Please affirm with me. I am confident in my ability to honestly and openly express myself with kindness towards myself and others. So now we come to the brow chakra and this is the third eye chakra placing a drop of frankincense, the oil of truth. So placing a drop of frankincense, rubbing my palms together Inhaling so deeply this oil of truth. Placing it on your brow chakra. With the brow chakra open, we are able to focus on and see the big picture. The color of this chakra is indigo blue. Frankincense is among the most sacred of all essential oils. Timeless in its ability to reveal false deceptions and false truths. When held over the brow chakra, the third eye chakra, the ajna, it invites the letting go of lower vibrations, lies, deceptions, and negativity. It allows us to create new a new perspective based on light and truth. Let frankincense remove barriers from the mind and the walls from the heart 
to truly reveal your inner light, your inner guidance. Please affirm with me. I am attuned to my divine wisdom and my intuitive self seeing what really is. So now coming to the crown chakra, we have the beautiful oil of immortal and or salibel as it's also known. The oil of spiritual insight. And here, this is a roll on. I roll it into my palm. Rub my palms together. Inhale in this amazing, inspirational, devotional oil. And place it on your crown, place your hands on your crown. The crown chakra represents our ability to be fully connected. Immortal is, an, is another blend of the most sacred of essential oils used for centuries to calm the mind, still the heart and prepare the spirit to commune with the divine. It discovers where our true heart lies. Here, we can come into alignment with the divine will and move to a higher level of consciousness. Please affirm with me, I am connected and I'm receiving divine wisdom and inspiration. Now with our palms together in prayer position, say out loud, I stand firmly in my truth. Take a couple of deep inhales and exhales to absorb the statements you have just made. To find your truth. Thank you.